Hi guys, you are watching Fariko TV and this week we are at Germany for the Gamescom Expo. We're about to check out a new Call of Duty Ghost, so let's go. Guys, you are about to play the new Call of Duty Ghost. What are your expectations? Uh, my expectations are better graphics and uh, better gameplay than the last one because that wasn't very good. <laughs> I didn't like Black Ops 2, so I hope this Call of Duty is going to be better than the last one. What didn't you like about uh, Black Ops 2? Uh, the whole feeling, like the gameplay, and I can't really describe it. It was just weird. <laughs> So, what Call of Duty games did you play before? Uh, I started with Black Ops, and then I play every Call of Duty game. Um, but my favorite Call of Duty game is MV3. And what do you expect of the new Call of Duty Ghost? Um, I think uh, I don't like Black Ops 2. I think the connection was very bad, and I think this will be better in, uh, in Call of Duty Ghost. What things do you want to see in the new multiplayer game? Um, I like the ACR, the weapon. I hope it will uh, be in the game. And I don't know. What, what, what things do you not want to see again? Um, any death tweaks, like uh, Dead Man's Hand or something like that. Or like um, weapons which are too good for the game. Behind me we have the huge stand of Call of Duty Ghost. I just played the game and it felt amazing. I did notice some uh, things about the game. For example, it was it felt really fast. I did a knee slide, and while doing this knee slide, I could still fire my gun. And also, when I hop over a wall, it's still possible to fire a gun. So, for example, when you hop over a wall and there's an enemy there, you just blind fire and kill him then. Um, also, there's a, they added a perk where you can sprint and reload this at the same time. So when you're in a fight, you just run away, reload your gun, and kill him then. Another great feature of the new Call of Duty is that all the information that you need is now in the top right corner. For example, who's alive in your team, you just have to press back and a small screen in the top right of the corner opens and you can see who's alive and what your KD is. With the new Call of Duty, you can still change your soldier while you're in the game lobby. So for example, when someone picks the hardpoint game, you just change your soldier to the hardpoint modus for a Russian class, for example. And when it changes back to SD, just pick your soldier for SD. This way you have all kinds of weapons for the right game modes. We also had the chance to test out one sniper. Unfortunately, there was only one sniper unlocked in this version of the game. I believe it was the L115 or something. Uh, the sniper is pretty good. It's a one-shot, one-kill sniper. Uh, the bad thing about it is that the reload time was pretty long, so it's not really good for uh, feats and everything. Uh, but I'm sure with the full game, there's more snipers available, so there's still hope for the snipers out there. So you just played the new Call of Duty Ghost? What do you think about it? It's a very good game. It's a lot better than Modern Warfare 3, which is the last one that I played. Didn't take my fancy to Black Ops 2 but Ghost absolutely amazing first person shooter so much more realistic than all the others are you going to look forward for the multiplayer or the solo play uh, multiplayer mainly because the solo careers aren't very long from the past Call of Duty's that I've played but we'll see how that one goes just for fun yeah okay and on what controller did you play Xbox 3 uh, oh, Xbox one are you going to buy it um, probably not the Xbox, but I will get the PS4. Why? I uh, don't like them, how the way that they've said to do with the Kinect being on 24 hours a day and it's got to be turned on once every 24 hours. It's like having a pet that doesn't live. But you are going to play Call of Duty Ghost for sure? Yeah. yeah. Nice, thank you. These guys just played the new Call of Duty Ghost game. How did you like it? Oh, it's perfect. I yeah? like it very much and I hope it comes as soon as possible. What did you like about it? Um, the new engine, the new gameplay, new maps, new weapons. Alright, cool. Are you a competitive gamer or just a public gamer? Do you play it for the single player? Only multiplayer. Search Destroyer only. Alright, did you notice any new things, any uh, mind-blowing new things about this uh, Call of Duty Ghost game? Mm, no, I, I think the, the game is uh, the, the same like Modern Warfare 3 with a new, some new shit and I like that. Sounds good, thanks. <laughs> so you just played the new game, uh, what are your first thoughts about it? I mean, it's different, it's totally different. Uh, the map layout was completely different, um, but it's still Call of Duty. It's not like a Battlefield style. 
Um, it's fun, it's Infinity War, guns kill fast, fast paced. You think it looks like the uh, Modern Warfare 2, 3 series? No, not at all. It's completely different. It feels different. It's still the Call of Duty game, but the graphic and the map layout is totally different. It's like... Can you tell me uh, some difference between Black Ops 2 and this game with gameplay, like shooting or the weapons? Yeah, it's always a big difference between Tre Treyarch games and Infinity Ward games, but the biggest difference is the guns kill faster. It's, it has always been like this. Um, sniping is a bit different. Like the whole feeling, this Infinity Ward style, but a huge difference to Black Ops 2. Definitely. Yeah. I'm here with K1. You just faced the line. How long, how, how long did you have to wait? Uh, I came here at 9 o'clock in the morning because I was one of the first inside. And yes, I stood here till 9 o'clock. And we had to wait about two and a half hours. And was it worth it? Yes, I got a free uh, Call of Duty Ghosts edition and a t-shirt and everything and yes, it really was, yes. So the two and a half hours was worth waiting for it because you got a free game and everything? Yes, and I played it and it was awesome and uh, I got a free drink, <laughs> so I made a plus. <laughs> Happy Sky Life. And uh, do you no notice any new things about the new Call of Duty? Um, yes, well, there are always some new additions, but at least it's Call of Duty since Modern Warfare 1. It's always the same system, uh, there are some new modes and new weapons, but in the end effect it's still Call of Duty, like every Call of Duty, and it makes fun like yeah. every Call of Duty. So I'm standing here with a Call of Duty playing Tentacle. What do you think about the new Call of Duty Ghost? It's quite cool, the graphic is very, very good, but I'm really, really bad at such games, and, but it was a lot of fun. And what controller did you play? We played Xbox. Are you going to buy it? Uh, I don't think so. I'm not that good at ego shooters. Is it hard to play without arms? Yeah, it's, it's really, really hard if you just can control it with your head. And you just uh, go down, 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 and it doesn't happen a lot. Okay, thank you very much. Think about the new Call of Duty. I think it's good. I mean, the maps seem bigger, so that's always what made me hate the old ones because they were absolutely tiny. You got bored easily, but came top. <laughs> and on what controller did you play? We played on the Xbox, but usually we play on PlayStation. I hope we provided you with some content that you didn't know yet. Uh, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit that like button.